Welcome on down to another arcade tutorial, fellow Dazzlers and new players alike. What is going on, everybody? Razzle just are here, giving you a quick tutorial on how to get cheats installed for MAME. Now, we did have a previous video on the channel for that. That's for a older build of MAME. This is going to be for the more recent um, builds. And it's pretty quick to do, so I'll help you get those cheats installed. And after that, I'll show you what kind of cool things you can do with cheats if you're not sold on those. So, let's get started here. First, I'm going to get rid of you. We'll get you open up later. So, what you're going to go here is to www.mameatcheat.co.uk or Pugsy's Cheats. Link will be in the description down below. And what you're going to do is go to your meme cheat files here. And it says right here, if you require the latest MAME cheat collection for the latest version of MAME, you should grab the top link only. Otherwise, grab the version which is nearest to the MAME version you are using. So, see the XML cheat collection for MAME 0 0.264, date 3rd of April 2024. So, let's go check our version out here. And you can see that we're running version 0 0.268. You got it on the top here, and also on the top of the screen here. So, we're going to grab... 0 0.264 that's the closest we have uh, to our current version of MAME. So if you're using an older build for whatever reason, like I like to use older version to run Thrill Drive because my computer's a toaster and can't run that at full speed on modern PCs, you've got, you got it going back quite a bit. All right, and we got the cheat file here, so we're just going to go ahead and cut that, which you can just do easily by holding the control key and pressing X. I'm going to go over to MAME, and one thing I want to say that Windows 11 did kind of do right was having these tabs. My god, that makes life so much easier. But anyways, let's kind of scroll up here, and we're going to go to the cheat folder. Now, if for whatever reason, when you uh, got your MAME set up and extracted, this folder doesn't exist, just create a new folder, name it cheat, and you're going to throw that in there. And then what you're going to do is extract. I have 7-zip, so I like to just go 7-zip, extract here. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, and then you've got this handy dandy readme file. So this basically just tells you what the contents of the file is that you just unzipped. We've got the readme, cheat.txt, and the cheat.7z. The only thing you have to do is nothing at this point as far as messing around with the actual files. As I said, do not do not unzip this. If I get someone <laughs> in the comments saying I extracted the contents of the cheat.7z, I'm going to be like, did you not read the readme folder? Don't do that. Do not. Um, and then if you spot any errors, uh, non-cheats, non-working cheats, or processing errors, post them to this topic. Also leave a comment too if you're running into any problems with the cheats. Let me know. I'll try to look into it. Or if any uh, fellow Dazzlers uh, might know the solution, help them out as well. Definitely want to have a community here where we can help uh, address and help people out with uh, arcade stuff, no matter how dumb the question might be or how basic the question might be. Anyways, we've got that done, so let's uh, pull up MAME here. And so one thing you want to do to make sure that your cheats are active and working is go to General Settings, and then you want to come down here to Miscellaneous, and just make sure your cheats are turned on. I believe by default they're off, so you got to switch them on, return, save, and meme will refresh because that's what it does. And that's pretty much all you have to do to get your cheats installed. So what other cool things can you do with cheats? Well, before we get into the actual cheats itself, let's pull up a game, Metal Slug 2. Now I did do a video on this already, but I think it's worth showing anyways in a video about cheats. Okay, so we got Metal Slug 2 booted up here and let's do that. So we're gonna push the tab key to pull up this menu Using the down arrow key, go down to slider controls and push enter. This uh, enabling cheats will enable the ability to overclock the CPU because Metal Slug 2 is known for running extremely slow. So let's see what happens when we crank this sucker up to like say 260, right? Have the game run. I, I do have it uncensored because I don't really play Metal Slug 2. So you can see that it's actually running pretty good nice and smooth. Now if you don't know how legendarily bad this game runs, let me just reset that real quick, turn this back down to 100. So this is a game set back. Yeah, look at that. This is a game with normal CPU power. 
because they wanted to do a lot more with Metal Slug 2, and unfortunately the hardware they had at the time was not uh, powered enough to run the game smoothly. And <laughs> you end up with this train wreck. This is how the game runs. It's not fun, but with that little flick of the wrist here, look at that. That's just one of the things you can do with cheats. So what about other games? Well, like, what about if your game has unlockable characters? Like, with, um... Metro Drop 3 actually has some hidden characters that, no, you don't have to actually go through arcane processes to unlock, <laughs> including beating them in a story mode to play them in match mode. But enough about Metro Drop 6. So what we're going to do is hit Tab, and we're going to go down to Cheat Options. Now, there is a little thing down here that says Enable Cheats, so just, again, make sure that's set to On. And then we're going to go down to Unlock Secret Characters and push right on the keyboard to turn that, or on the arrow key to turn that on. And put some credits in the machine, so to speak. And we're going to go right to the selection screen. And then, bada bing, bada boom, you've got these selectable secret characters. Uh, if you've played through Magic Rot 3, you've definitely seen Fortune, Tower, and Hermit, whom you will always encounter in your game. And then you may or may not play against someone like Temperance. Hanged Man or Moon, it just depends on a lot of things, but with that you can actually unlock these characters and play as them fairly easily. Uh, there is even, I believe, um, you can set... Oh, here we go. So you have this P1 select card, and you can actually select Black Periot. There's also Strength's Father, whom you... I forgot to unlock. You you can unlock them in a... In a, in a specific way, but I forgot how you do that. It's not through the regular unlock code. And then you can play as Black Parrot, who you normally can't play as in the arcade version, and you can use cheats to do that. Ain't that cool. Now what if you fancy yourself some combat? Well, Mortal Kombat, uh, pretty much any game of Mortal Kombat's really got you covered in that case, pushing the tab key again. We're gonna come on down to cheat options, and you can see there are things like infinite time, hit anywhere, permanent fat fatality type, where uh, CPU can always finish with a fatality, or you automatically do a fatality. You even have, if you come on down here, you can select what combat code you want for your game. So when you would do a two-player battle mode um, while the versus screen was showing, both players could push buttons on their respective controls to change little like symbols, and that activates different uh, codes you can play with, and you can actually get these combat codes going. You can even get them going um, in single player, which kind of kind of might screw with the game itself. So like let me see if do let me see if this actually works. So I'm just gonna pick some on random. Yeah, and you see I have half of my energy bar, <laughs> so yeah, you want to leg up on a computer, here you go, put some cheats in, and then, uh, or if you want to handicap yourself, be like, I beat Mortal Kombat 3, you know, on very hard with half energy thanks to main cheats and combat codes. I don't know why you would do that to yourself. One thing I used uh, to help me learn the computer in Mortal Kombat 2, learn how to clown on them all day long with, um, with Baraka, I don't know why I forgot his name, but is you set infinite time to on. Player 1, infinite energy to on. Player 2, infinite energy to on. And we're just going to tab out. Push P to unpause the game. My health bar goes back up. But then you can also see that the timer isn't going down. Nor is the health for either opponent. So this way you can actually quote unquote practice against the computer without having to, uh, you know, oh well he ran out of energy. Or even if you're trying to just practice your moves and you only have access to the uh, arcade version. Actually, I don't think the console versions had a training mode anyways. You kind of have a training mode, quote-unquote, so to speak, where you can practice your stuff. And if you want to try to get good enough to beat the computer on uh, harder difficulty settings, you can now do that without having to go back to the continue section over and over again. You can try out different things with all the energy you ever need to do that. Toasty, eh? How cool is that? Something else I forgot to mention, too, is if you come down to cheat options, you may have spotted me scrolling through things called the Hidden EJB menu. So this was discovered a few years ago. Mortal Kombat's 1, 2, and 3, I don't think 4 has it, but I know 1, 2, and 3 have the Hidden EJB menu that was undiscovered for literal decades. And normally you got to do this big old long code to get to it, but thanks to Dream Cheats, 
As the uh, cheat comment says, you just push the P1 block one key during the track mode, so let's flick that on, tab out, block, and now we're in the hidden EJV menu, which you got diagnostic tests, which you normally get with the operator menu, coin bookkeeping, game audits. The things you get here that you don't normally get though are credits, the ability to enter your initials, or run a simulation of entering your initials, character endings, uh, the hidden Galaga-like minigame, and then um, smoke and unsmoke. But yeah, there's all kinds of different things you can do with meme cheats here. Everything from, and again, it depends on your game. Not every game's gonna have the same cheats. Even when you do versions, like speaking of Mortal Kombat 3, that's actually a good example of this. So if we go to Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, if we go through uh, revision 1.2, not every game, not every version of a game is going to have the same cheats. And when I mean version, I mean like the different like revisions or different regions or whatever. So not Mortal Kombat 3, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. I mean like Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 and then Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 version like 1.0 or whatever. So if we go to cheats here, you can see this is Corner Picula of cheats. And I probably mispronounced that, but you know, a wealth of cheats. All these cheats. Look at all these cheats that are available. That's quite a bit. Now, if we go out of here, and let's just go even down to Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 uh, Revision 1.0. You can see the cheat menu is a lot shorter. And sometimes certain versions of games won't have cheats at all, I believe. I don't know if this is still the case with Carnival, but I know it used to be the case with... Uh, you can tell I've never played this <laughs> this version of the game because it's still full screen. I should default to uh, the uh, parent ROM. I don't really know what the differences between the two are. That's definitely something I'm trying to figure out. But you know, cheat options. Okay, so it actually has it. Uh, I remember in an earlier version of me, uh, one point zero point one of current evil didn't have any cheats. And it just told you that just like, hey, there may be other parent or clone ROMs that have the cheats or something like that. Uh, so that can definitely differ. But that's about it uh, for cheats here. Uh, going over each and every kind of cheat that you can find would take forever going through every game and showing you what cheats are available. Even the ones I have available to me would take forever. It definitely would be a fun thing to do, though, is kind of just show the cheats that are available uh, as of whatever recent version. I do need to update my version of name. I'm a Quite a bit behind it, 2.68. That's about it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to leave a comment. That's not me engagement for me. I actually want to help you guys out when it comes to things where, if, again, any fellow Dazzlers know the solution to your problems, feel free to, to help them out and let them know. Like, I'm not going to get upsetty if you help your fellow gamer out. I know MAME's about as user friendly as a cactus, and sometimes it's very difficult to figure things out without extensive troubleshooting. So, again, I want to try to see if we can build a community here of uh, arcade emulation enthusiasts that can. Uh, chip in and help each other out. So once again, thank you very much for watching, and until next time... Uh...